Hello everyone, so I know I am a little bit late in making this video, but I just wanted to make a video today to talk about everybody 1-2-Switch. That's right, 1-2-Switch, probably the worst game on planet Earth is getting a sequel that literally no one asked for. So I just wanted to make this video today to kind of like talk about this a little, so let's see what Twitter's saying here about this game. Everybody one two switch by um okay oatmeal dome. This is like a pretty well known data miner slash leaker. Nintendo has announced Everybody one two switch, a sequel to one two switch featuring team based multiplayer games. It will release on June thirtieth and cost thirty dollars. It's the eShop page for the Americas. Pretty cool. Well, not cool. I'm probably just going to. I'm just going to buy the game anyway, just for shits and giggles, just so I can see what it's like. Everybody 1-2 Switch, that's what the cover looks like with, well, the Japanese cover. But it's pretty much going to look the same everywhere. Um, with, um, I don't know, Bojack Horseman, whatever it is on the cover. And a really interesting thing is that you can use your phone. You can use your phone to um, play the game. I don't know how that works, but I've heard that this game is inspired by a series of party games called um, Jackbox or something like that, and it takes up to and you can play with up to one hundred people, which I seriously can't imagine a hundred people playing this game all at one time. That would just be crazy. And you can use your phone, so I really do not know how this works. Is it going to be like its own app or? It's probably going to... Yeah, everybody wants to Switch is probably going to have, like, its own app or something. Or do you use it with Switch Online? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. So, there's the eShop page. I'm glad it only cost... I'm glad this game only costs, like, 20 quid. As opposed to the 50 quid that you had to pay for it on launch. Like, seriously. When the Switch first launched, I got my Switch day one back in 2017. And I made the mistake of only getting 1-2 Switch. I wasn't into Zelda at the time, but I could have got Breath of the Wild. I could have at least tried it. And I got bored after about 10 minutes. And that was the only game I had for it, so I didn't play it again until Mario Kart 8 came out like a month later. So, here's, here's what like the game looks like right here. Everybody 1-2 Switch. And what's really weird... Is that the weird thing about this, okay, is that they didn't even drop a trailer. So that's why I'm just scrolling through Twitter looking at it right now. See, they didn't even bother to post a trailer. So they went ahead and just went ahead and said, hey, you know what? I have a feat. A lot of people think that it's Nintendo going, yeah, um, this game's just going to be a real piece of crap. Um, so we're not even going to bother to post a trailer because it will just be too embarrassing to watch. So we're just going to shadow drop it on Twitter along with one screenshot and see what people think of it. <sighs> Demich, when the 1-2 Switch fans turn out to be contrarian hipsters who only praise the game ironically. Oh, God. So yeah, Demich is like this um, Nintendo YouTuber who rants on like different games and like problems that they have. Like He doesn't like updates and stuff. And I've seen some of his videos. He made a video on this game. Um, yeah. Ah, yes. Because Nintendo totally cares about everybody 1-2 Switch and aren't trying to sweep it under the rug. So, yeah. I'm just going through tweets on this game. And it's basically my only way to, like, react to this game. Because there isn't actually an official trailer as of yet. People are saying that because this game has been announced that there won't be a Nintendo Direct this month. Um... And there wasn't a Nintendo Direct last year because E3 was cancelled. I mean, last year we already had... I can understand last year because we didn't really have, like, any idea. Last year we already kind of knew, like, what games were coming out. We had um, Splatoon 3, Xenoblade 3. Hell, we even had some, like, third-party stuff like Sonic Frontiers and Bayonetta 3 to look forward to. So that was that. I kind of get why they didn't do one last year. So... But this year, we don't, we have nothing, we have nothing, like, the only thing we knew of post Tears of the Kingdom was Pikmin 4. 
And I don't know how that's going to go, but it looks pretty good. But everybody won to Switch. I think Nintendo are just running out of ideas, seriously. But, yeah, seriously, you know what? I will probably buy this game just so I can ridicule it. And pr I'll probably do another video on it at some point. How did 1-2 Switch get a sequel before Mario Odd? Yeah, that's why I don't get either. Shocking, Nintendo Switch announcement. The horse game is real. So yeah, there are actually rumours going around about this game, like this time last year, about a potential sequel to 1-2 Switch that was finished and ready to be released. And it was playtested, but Nintendo just decided not to release it because... They themselves thought the game was crap. So, I really do not know how this is going to go. So, if I have a look at Nintendo's official tweet here. This is the image they gave us with the horse holding the Joy-Con. And, yeah, they, alongside that, they decided to only give us one other screenshot. And I don't know where that is, but... Apparently, it's two people playing a game. It's really hard to tell what it is, because if you've played 1-2 Switch before, you'll know that there aren't really any, like, characters in the game. It's just, like, most of the game's made up of, like, demo videos of, like, people playing the minigames. So, if you're going to screenshot the game, it's going to be quite hard to, to, like, decipher what in the heck it is. And with this one screenshot that they posted, I don't know what it is. But they're doing like a pose or something like this with the hands or something holding the Joy-Cons. And it's like, kind of like a pogo stick or something. And I really don't get what it is. So, anyway guys, let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below. I'll definitely be playing this game when it comes out. Like I said before, I'm probably only going to get it just so that I can shit all over it and just um ridicule it. Like... Because that's what people do when there's like a bad game. They just buy it anyway and just make fun of it. So what I'm going to do now is just end the video. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. I was running out of ideas. So as soon as this was announced, I just thought, bingo, video idea. So anyway, guys, it's coming out on June 30th, just in case you didn't know. Please be sure to check out my Discord, Twitter, Twitch and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.